What's going on everybody? It's Adonis with Absolutely Tech, and I have a question for you. Do you forget much? So the app that we're gonna be covering this week is called Checkpoint. Now, if you're like me and you forget everything when you go shopping, this is gonna be the best application for you, um, especially if you like reminders, but you really think that they could be improved a little bit, this app is the business. So let's get into it and see how powerful it actually is for your life. All right, guys, so we're gonna go into the Checkpoint application. I'm gonna open that. Now this is Checkpoint, very, very clean interface. It looks very similar to a Reminders app, obviously, but there are some really cool tricks under the hood. Upper left-hand corner, there is a list for some settings. You can set distance, location, search engine. And then I slide it over and then the plus sign would be where I want to create the reminder. So I'm going to select that. Now, once I'm in there, you see three sections that I can toggle. So I have uh, description, reminders and notifications. So if I touch buy milk, I'm going to select that and I'm going to type milk, sugar, butter, pie crust. So that's my, let's say that's my reminder. I wanna make a pie for whatever reason. Under that I have a reminder, so I can add a timed reminder if I want to, and I can toggle between the date I'm gonna be there and so on. Or um, I can disregard that by swiping it, and it deletes it. I don't really like time reminders because I usually set them for when I'm going to shop somewhere, um, and I'm, not so good on specific times I'm gonna actually be at a place so um, that's not really the reminder that I actually want to set notification sound I have different sounds that I can select so I'm gonna select level up now the type of re reminder that I want to add is a location reminder so under where it says set location I'm gonna to touch that and I'm gonna type in Trader Joe's since that's where I shop search and it gives me a list. Now when I touch one, it gives me a map of which, tra which Trader Joe's that is. And I'm going to the one on Olympic, so I'm gonna go to that one. Let's see, right there. So I'm gonna select that one, hit done. And you'll see a circle around that flag where Trader Joe's is. Now what's that circle? It is a geofence. Now why is that powerful? Well, when I get inside that purple area, my phone will go off for the reminder. So for me, I always forget when I'm shopping what I need to buy. So this is a great tool for myself and hopefully for you guys. So when I'm done, I can hit done. And there's my reminder. And I can hit go if I want to, and I can navigate to that place. So if I'm buying something at a certain store but I've never been there, I can navigate using Waze, Google Maps, or Maps. And it's, I'm glad it gives you options depending on what app that you're using for that. I'm gonna hit back though, and there it is in my list, right, on the very bottom. Now if I want to edit that, I can slide to the right on that and it can edit it. If I let go, it will let me edit. And if I slide to the left, I can delete it. I'm gonna let go. Would you like to delete? Yes, there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, basically a run through of Checkpoint. It's a really cool application. It's very simple, straightforward, um, but I, I find it super useful um, especially if you're someone like myself that forgets things when you're shopping, this is a great tool. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys have any suggestions for new videos in the future or new applications you would like me to cover, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. Also subscribe to the channel. Till next time guys, see you later.